Okay, so you think Trump should have been shot because it would have been funny? <laughs> a little bit. Okay. What do you think of that reason? Um... <laughs> Okay, young lady, where are we today? We're at Washington Square Park. An excellent thing, and you live in New York City? Yes, I do. Excellent, excellent. And wh where are you from, sir? I'm from Chicago. You're from, and what do you, you, no way. Wait, what? Could be your future wife. What are you doing here? I go to NYU. A fine institution. Okay, we're gonna do the claim, Trump should have been shot. You ready? Strongly disagree, strongly agree. Trump should have been shot. Five, four, three, two, one, move. Oh, shit. Wow, okay, okay, wow, okay. <laughs> wow, okay, so grab the board and the marker, grab the board and the marker, write down the best reason you have for why you're on strongly agree for Trump should have been shot. Write down the best reason you have for why you strongly disagree that Trump should have been shot. Okay, you ready? You're gonna try to guess the reason that she wrote down. She already heard. Huh? She already heard me say it. Or I don't know. I think she already heard me say it. Did you hear his reason? Partially. I think. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. What, why is she on the strongly agree? Why does she strongly believe that Trump should have been shot? I mean, my personal opinion, and yeah, why I, does, I think what, she, maybe she'll agree with this, is like, he's a horrible president for the United States, and. Is the reason that you have down that he's a horrible president for the United States? No. Is it better than your reason? That's a better reason than my reason. Oh, it is a better reason than yeah. your reason. Okay. You want to guess his reason? Uh, because he doesn't believe in gun violence. Is that your reason? Because Trump doesn't... It's, it's related. I don't believe in gun violence, but... Um, shall I say my reason? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Yes or no. Is that the reason? No. Okay. You take another guess at her reason. Ooh. I... I think that you can argue that tell her, a lot of a lot of the administration policies could end up killing people, and so a lot of the administration Trump's administration policies could end up killing people. Not quite. Not okay. quite. Get, take another guess at his reason. Uh, because he thinks nobody should be killed, no matter how bad they are. He definitely is anti-death penalty. Nobody should be killed, no matter how bad they are. That's, uh, yeah, pretty much it. Okay, great. Show her the reason. Read the reason to her. Uh, political violence and extremism is never the answer. Okay, not do you agree, but do you understand? I understand. I know what he means. Okay. Do you want to show him your reason? Not particularly, but I will. Okay, show him. What is it? Read your reason out loud. It would be so funny because I'm sick of hearing Trump jokes. Ah, okay, so... You think Trump should have been shot because it would have been funny? <laughs> a little bit. Okay. What do you think of that reason? Um. Like again, I I would never vote for Trump in in ever for any reason. What do you think of that reason? She strongly agrees that Trump should have been shot because it would be funny. Um. I, Is that I, a good reason that he should have been shot? I don't think so. Is it, so you, you think it's a good reason that Trump should have been shot because it would have been funny. If we shot other people who we disagreed with, would, would that be good if it were funny? No, but I don't think shooting Trump, I would shoot Trump because I disagree with him. I would shoot Trump because he'd be like, ah, like he'd make a really big scene out of it. What if the bullet went through his brain? Would it have been funny? Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe, maybe. I think even if it went through his brain, he would be like, I still got it. There wasn't much there to begin with. That's just me, but. Okay, so do you think political violence is ex morally acceptable if it's funny? No, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, 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 I you don't. don't believe not that. No, not at all. What the fuck? This guy's putting words in my mouth. No, I said, did you? 
Dude. No, no. It's only funny if it's Trump. Uh, That's it. Okay. So, do you think it's legitimate to say that it's only funny if it's Trump, that Trump poses some unique danger to Western civilization and therefore he should have been shot? I believe that Trump poses a very specific and scary threat to American society. I do not think that political violence and extremism is ever the answer. Okay. What would it take to change your mind that Trump should not have been shot? What would it take to move you one line to the right? Probably like a singular good point. Well, what about his point? What about his point that political violence is- I agree, political violence is never right, but that's not the point I'm making. What's your point? I'm making the point, like, it would just be funny as fuck. And what would make it funny? Because it's Donald Trump and he's a character. You know, ask what's the point is. We'd like to know what the point is. <laughs> Maybe that man should be doing what's Spectrum Street point? Epistemology. Okay, yeah, so. I think I've seen him, uh, fam uh, I think he went viral on Truth Social recently, so. Oh, well, that's. Okay, so ignore him. Okay, so uh, so so a single good point. What would a good point look like to you? Um, just uh, sp uh, saying something like, oh, like uh, he maybe did some good things during presidency and shouldn't be shot. He's a family. He's a family. He does have a family. Is that a good enough reason? That's a good enough reason. Are you gonna move? Sure. Okay, so what, what 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 would it take to move you to the disagree? Um, I I don't think I would move at all. Look, like I I would never support Trump, the the twice impeached, indicted and now convicted felon, who is a destructive threat to America. Okay, let me ask you a question then. What if what if? And I'm not saying I have this, but I'm saying what if? What if leaked documents came out and Trump admitted it, that he was going to overthrow the Republic and become a dictator? Would that be sufficient to change your mind for you to move to disagree? No. I think that <laughs> there, there have been documents that demonstrate, and Trump himself has said, alluded to being a dictator, to, to wanting to be a dictator in his second term. We have a constitution that has stood for several hundred years now. Um, and I think it has been tested more than uh, almost ever under the Trump presidency. All right, is there anything that would move you to slightly agree? Uh, maybe. Like, uh, maybe like what would make me want to move is if he said something like, oh, well, and if someone gets shot, that would cause more political uproar and more political like turmoil than if he didn't. There would be less like, um, how do I say this? Um, like far right wing extremism if he, if he didn't get shot, then he did get shot. All right, go back to the neutral, go back to the neutral. I'm gonna just say something and then you move to a line that you think. There are more than 10,000 far right extremists in the United States, yeah, move. Well, move. Move to wherever you. Do I agree with that? Yes. Or, or to what extent do you agree? There are more than 10,000 far right extremists. There are more than 100,000 far right extremists in the United States. I don't know. Then you'd be on the neutral? That's it. There are a lot of reasons that people vote and voted for Donald Trump. Um, I would okay. say that not, not everyone is a far-right extremist, but people who, for example, support what happened on January 6th in 2021, I, I would say that that is far-right Okay, extremism. there are more than a half a million extremists, far-right extremists in the United States, move. There are more than a million far-right extremists in the United States, move. Keep in mind, I think the, co the population of the United States is like 333 million. I, I think you, like you, you'd have to go down to what, what do you define as extremist? 
Well, whatever you want to define. Like, I'm trying to figure out. So is one out of every 333 people in the United States an extremist, a far-right extremist? I don't think so. Okay, so then I'd that's so then like you don't think there's one in a million? You, you don't think that it's more than a million? Probably not. I think it's probably about a million far-right extremists. However, I do think they've taken over the party in a crazy way. And I think they've become the voice of the party, even though they're a minority of the party and has derailed the Republican Party. Okay, let's do, go back to the neutral. Go back to the neutral. The, you, you two, go back to neutral. The, there are more than 10,000 far left extremists, far left extremists in the United States. Move. I, I, there probably are. There are more than 100,000 far left extremists in the United States. There are more than 500,000 far left extremists in the United States. Uh, I don't know. Okay. It's the, it's the same thing. It's like, how, how, what, do you, what do you define? Okay, okay, here's the new claim. There are more far-right extremists in the U.S. than there are far-left extremists. Move. Just move then. Don't tell me move. Move. There are more far-left extremists. I mean, I have no actual evidence. Then you would be on neutral. Yeah, so. So you want to go on neutral? I believe that there are more. There are likely more far-right extremists in the United States than there are far-left extremists. Okay, so go back to neutral, go back to neutral. And what do you count as a far-left extremist? Well, we can, we can, it doesn't matter? Yeah, just whatever you think it is. So here's the question. Give examples of three institutions that the right controls and three institutions that the left controls. What would they be? What is the right control? Or what is the left control? Um... I guess I'd say the right probably controls like our military spending. Military, um, institutions. Institutions. So the military. The military um, God. Uh, I could name more of the left. I actually don't know what the far right really controls. Okay. What, what about you? Far right or far left? What institutions does the far right or far left control? I don't really know how I feel about the question. Okay. Uh, I think like it. It ends up. It, I think the question doesn't give enough credit to American society and like yeah. how how. What, what do you mean? Because like American society was built on a system of checks and balances and in, in at, there, at, at all levels of government and, and I and I reject I reject left? I reject the notion that there are I, that, there, that there is universal is universal control. Are there far left institutions? Um, there are far left organizations. Are there more people on the left? Here at N in NYU yeah. or on the right? On the left, definitely, completely. Definitely on the left. You're like I'm like if you're on the right here, like I I don't think I've met anyone who's like on the right. Oh, wing you go to school here? Spectrum. Yeah. Oh, okay. You yeah. go to school here? Yeah, yeah. You said you went to school here. Okay. So is NYU a leftist organization? I mean, most colleges probably are. So is it fair to say that the left controls academia? No. The right controls academia? I really think it depends on the state. I think it, the state you're in centers around, like, who controls the academia. I mean, you think about, in Texas, certain, like, uh, encyclopedia books were banned because they didn't, like, incorporate God into them, but at the same time, on the far-left institution, that's, like, far-right institutional education. And then, but you think about on the far-left, there's certain things we don't even read anymore, like certain, like, books, because they're considered some sort of way. So Okay, yeah. so when I said far-right, you named one, and you said you could, uh, you could name some on the far-left. Can you name far-left organizations? or What institutions does the far-left control? I probably just think like Hollywood and like network television. I mean, you look at late night TV. I sure I agree with it, but there's not a single right wing television network. You think of like, uh, like Fox. Steve. I mean, oh, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about late night TV. I'm talking about like Stephen Colbert. I'm talking about Jimmy Fallon. They're all very far left, and they all pi punch down on Trump, which is okay. I don't. I like it. I think it's well, funny. You want it to be shot, so of course you think it's okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay, cool. So let's wrap it up. Uh, let's do the original claim again. Trump should have been shot. Move. No. You change? Did, did you change your mind? 
He was right. He was right. Violence is never the answer. But you don't believe that. I do. All right, it's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This falls under the umbrella of my nonprofit, National Progress Alliance. Your generous donations keep us going and help fuel content like this. We truly appreciate your support. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.